Welcome to CC9 Deepness, the end of the Seaborn month. We went from Stoutifera Nevis, and then we go to Undertide's rerun, and here we are at a new CC season with also familiar enemies. Now I'm going to give you guys the risk 18 strategy that you so want in order to get all the contract bounties out of this particular event. And I understand that I'm always someone who's very late to the party. Everybody has released guides before me. I'm usually releasing them on day two. So Cookie, what can you offer differently from everybody else? Now, the certain core strategy is certainly one of the easiest strats that you can do in order to clear this CC. And Horn is also another popular choice that many people are using. But I want to do something that is going to make a certain artist pretty proud of me to have formed a strategy that I recommend everybody to try out. So let's get to that, starting off with the risk that you guys will be using. Pocket Sea Crawlers immune to Stun and Frozen, as you see here. Their abilities can deal more Arts damage, have increased range, and needs less HP loss to deal Arts damage. You can't silence Sea Crawlers, sad to say. They are someone who always deals damage with every amount of HP that they lose. So you gotta try to kill them from afar in order for them to not be a threat. We'll take the first to talk, gain max HP by 40%, also immune to Stun and Frozen. Now, this threat can handle a 60% max HP, but it's risky, and that's why I don't want to do it. So if you're a daredevil, you want to do this in order to up the risk even better, then sure, go ahead, but I don't recommend it. Even this track could also do the Basin Sea Reapers lose 25% less HP, but it's tricky, you need to do more steps, so no to this. Then at the same time, we'll take attack up and HP down, both at risk 3, it sounds wow that I'm introducing this to you guys, but yes, we'll take both at risk 3, and that also means that we don't want our operators to get hurt that much by the enemies, and I'll tell you how later on. Then we'll take the stun time or frozen time increase by double, 100%. Then this is the wow one, because this is not a circle core strat. This is something else. So we're actually going to take melee operators have triple cost, while also using DP regeneration down. That sounds wild because the vanguards are also going to be more expensive. But yes, I'll tell you how to do it in a bit. Deployment limit 5 as well. If you are daring enough, this strat can handle having extra pocket sea crawlers. You can take risk 1 of it. But I'm going to make it simpler. No to this. And then we'll take SP, uh, requiring more SP to activate your skills. This is a risk 2 tag. We'll leak enemies, so don't take this. So from whatever that I've been saying, you could make this a risk 21 strat for reals but it's not worth unless you really want to get like a you know you want to flex a bit like hey guys i'm a really good doctor i risk 21 but if you just want just want risk 18 let's get to that so these are all the tags that you see right here now the star of the show today is a golden glow on skill tree m3 if you don't have that, please borrow from a friend. And if you don't have a friend with that, come to my Discord server and add someone over there. Nami, I hope that you're happy that I'm using your girl right here. And then bring a gravel. Doesn't need to be E2. E1 gravel will do on skill 2 rank 7. All right? Take two marksman sniper. The stronger they are, the better it will be. Blue poison, ash, arcato, axia, platinum, anyone you can think of. April as well, great shoot as well. Those are all wonderful options to replace Jessica and Cruz. Catapult can be replaced by other AOE snipers. So Shirayuki. I don't recommend fear meta because her health keeps dropping. W is okay. Uh, even if you don't want a uh, AOE sniper, you can also use a dead eye sniper. Because a Dead Eye Sniper has similar range. You just need someone with the same range as a AoE Sniper to kill certain enemies later on. Alright? And then also take a Caster, a Core Caster, and a Wandering Medic. Wandering Medic is mission critical because the enemies are dealing sanity damage here. So I highly recommend you to have one. It's either a Chestnut, Mulberry, or Honeyberry. Alright? Seven operators and you can bring more people as well because I'm using the Deployment Limit tag. Alright? I'm going to show you guys how to have fun in this stage. Let's go. Golden Glow Core on Cell Viento Cast. I hope I did not butcher the name. Start off by placing a sniper over here facing upwards. Then once you have enough DP, you can deploy Golden Glow into the stage. Place her right over here. Then, put a Sniper over here. 
Whenever Golden Glow skill is ready, turn it on so that she can kill the sea crawlers. Those eggs. Right over there. Nasty ones. Then place a AoE sniper right over here. And then also use your gravel that you brought in the stage. So this is going to be used to trigger the sanity damaging flower. So the reason that you're putting a sniper above is to kill this guy. If you want to save your DP, try not to let him kill your sniper so that you retreat them first before they actually get killed by him. Like that. Alright. Place a caster, four caster over here as well. Try not to get your gravel killed. Be very kind to her. Retreat when necessary. And then retreat crews, switch it for a wandering medic. Now once this flower is killed, he's dead now, turn on Golden Glow skill. Use her to attack the first first to talk. Yes, Golden Glow will be able to wipe him out. Even if she doesn't, your core caster will deal the remaining damage that you need onto this guy. Just like that. Okay, you can retreat your core caster, place a sniper here, along with whichever sniper that can reach the tile that you see there. So this is what I mean by you can use a Dead Eye Sniper also. As long as they can reach that tile, you're fine. So you need these two snipers to kill the Procket Sea Crawler that is behind. Use one of your fast redeploys, trigger this flower right here. Let it go. And then place a sniper here also to kill this guy. Don't worry, your remaining snipers will also help to damage as much as they can. Retreat when necessary. Turn on Golden Glow skill to get rid of the sea crawlers. You can assist by also putting a core caster over here. So your core caster should be deployable now to get rid of the one that's behind. Use a fast redeploy. Get rid of this flower. Trigger it. Okay, then let go. Retreat your Wandering Medic, and also retreat your Golden Glow. Now, they Golden Glow was very fortunate enough to kill the like the range damage uh, spewing guy behind. So when the first to talk enters like this, if you still have one of the spitters that are still remaining in the stage, use your Gravel to hold the spitter back. So now it's not there because Golden Glow killed it. But if Golden Glow doesn't kill it, just use Gravel to kill it. Alright? Use a Sniper to trigger this guy. Like that. And then use this, another sniper to kill this one that's above. You can retreat your gravel. Your sniper should be able to help you to kill this one right over here. If not, you can use whatever units you have left in order to kill it. And this guy will die right before he reaches the blue box. Just like that. Very, very simple and super fun strategy that involves Golden Glow. I love the fact that she is able to shine in this CC. So I hope that you guys get some inspiration from this. And if not, I got more core strategies to show you guys right after this one. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, bye-bye.